What's up guys, Jack's Key back on your screen today, bringing you guys another video. So we are heading to Albuquerque, New Mexico to go check out some sites there, but most importantly going to check out some uh, specific locations of the show Breaking Bad. And I want to take you guys along with me, so let's hit the road. So right now we're actually driving past Billy the Kid's grave, if you don't know who that is, like a famous, uh, famous cowboy. Kind of, he was one of those guys that didn't take shit from anybody really. He was a criminal. Yeah, he was a big outlaw. But a lot of people, there's a conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theory that he actually really isn't dead. I mean, he's dead by now, obviously. But like, he didn't really die in this grave. Is like one of like a lookalike or one of his buddies that was buried here that kind of looked like him. So, and there's there's stories saying that he did live for like a long time after this he, he died of old age instead of i don't know if he got assassinated or, or if he lost in a duel or whatever whatever the case may be okay guys so we just arrived to albuquerque we're going to los porios hermanos which is the restaurant in breaking bad it's the restaurant that gus fring owned in breaking bad the real name of it is twisters or twister or something like that they uh, serve like burgers and, and burritos and stuff like that so we're gonna go try that out and let you guys know how it is and I'll pick you guys up once we get there. Okay guys, so we just made it to the first location. Uh, it is called look. Twisters in real life. Look, look what they have yeah. on the truck. Now you're gonna need to zoom in. Look at that, Los Poyars Hermanos. They got it on the food truck. All right guys, check it out. This is it for sure. How do you feel about it? Stellar dude. All right guys, so we just made it in. We just got done ordering and this is like this is pretty crazy to see in real life. Like you never think that they would use like a real restaurant in a movie or a TV show this big, but they did, and um, we'll try it out and see how it is, I guess. The food was pretty good. Now we're going to head to Jesse Pinkman's house. Are you excited? For sure. Jesse was probably my favorite character, like a lot of people. But um, we're gonna go there and then Walter White's house. Okay guys, so we just made it to Jesse Pinkman's house. As you can see, they might have done a little uh, remodeling or made it a little bit nicer. I'm sure they did. And we, if we walk this way, I can show you the famous gate where they used to have the RV parked. Uh, it's gonna be where that white car is over there. But um, it's definitely nicer in person than in the movies, but you, you know, you gotta think that it was when I think they finished recording the show in 2013, so around 2013 is uh, whenever they stopped the show. But um, the crazy thing is, like, you look at that window right there, and um, you look at the window, and that's where he was, like, looking outside, being scared, uh, paranoid after, you know, the first couple of drug deals he made or whatever. All right, guys, so they actually turned the gate into a garage, but this is where the gate was. I know it's kind of weird, but that's... Uh, that's where the gate was and they had the RV parked there. But uh, this is pretty much it for Jesse Pinkman's house. Up next is Walter White's, let's get it. Okay guys, so we just made it to Walter White's house. Supposedly this lady is absolutely insane. She literally put a fence and barricades around the whole house as you obviously can see. And I don't know if you guys can see that chair, but she usually sits at that chair and like cusses people out like when they come close to the house and everything. But she's not out there right now, so we're chilling. And um, hopefully we can find someone to take our picture real quick. But, uh, super cool and just yeah okay guys so now we're heading to the hotel um that's pretty much all for the breaking bad content i might extend this video or make a second video i'm not sure yet but the lady actually did end up coming out of the house towards the end of uh, us being there i didn't get it on film because i was taking this guy's picture and she was on the phone with the cops and um i don't think she got the plate though so and plus, it doesn't even really matter because like that's a public road, so I don't even know what we could get in trouble for. All right, so we just got ready for dinner. We are going to dinner tonight. Where at? Do you know the name, please? Uh, something 52. I don't know. Okay, something 52, but uh, we'll show you more, or I'll give you the name when I finally get get there. Let's see right there, folks. Just from Francesca's. It's not tied in the back, huh? Air Forces. Jaxi. Shirt from I don't know where. Khakis from I don't know where. Pro Tour golf shirt. Yeah, this is a golf shirt, by the way. So we just made it to the restaurant. Um, I'm gonna vlog my phone inside the restaurant so I don't look like a weirdo holding a camera. 
and it's just one extra thing that I have potential of losing. So I'm just going to vlog with my phone whenever we get inside and uh, yeah, see you then. Got a filet mignon and lobster tail and asparagus and potatoes. What'd you get? I got the rotisserie chicken and rice and green beans. This is probably the best steak I've ever had in my whole entire life. Oh, and I got a Caesar salad. All right, guys, so we got, I got me, sorry. Got some key lime pie. These are like mini Pecan pie. What was yours? S'mores. S'mores. You're excited about it? Look at that, man. Beautiful.